learning objectives after studying this chapter students will be able to explain the meaning of business finance describe financial management explain the role of financial management in our enterprise discuss objectives of financial management and how they could be achieved explain the meaning and importance of financial planning state the meaning of capital structure analyze the factors affecting capital requirements business finance a business cannot function unless its activities are financed properly in time the requirements of funds by businesses to carry out its various activities are called business finance financial management simply financial management is referred to as the management of finance it is the organizational arrangement to procure the fund from different alternatives and its better utilization importance of financial management financial management plays an important role in a business organization proper management of finance is the backbone and is reflected in each and every areas of business and in direct relationship with its profitability financial planning Financial management helps to determine the financial requirement of the business concern and leads to take financial planning of the concern. Financial planning is an important part of the business concern which helps to promotion of an enterprise. Acquisition of funds. Financial management involves the acquisition of required finance to the business concern. Acquiring needed funds play a major part of the financial management which involve possible source of finance at minimum cost. Proper use of funds. Proper use and allocation of funds leads to improve the operational efficiency of the business concern. When the finance manager uses the funds properly, they can reduce the cost of capital and increase the value of the firm. improve profitability profitability of the concern purely depends on the effectiveness and proper utilization of funds by the business concern financial management helps to improve the profitability position of the concern with the help of strong financial control devices such as budgetary control ratio analysis and cost volume profit analysis wealth maximization The primary aim of financial management is to maximize shareholders' wealth, which is referred to as the wealth maximization concept. Financial decisions. Financial management decisions. Financial management is mainly connected with the management of three major areas like investment, financing, and dividend decisions. it analyzes these three major areas and find solutions to these problems financing decisions this decision is about the quantum of finance to be raised from various long term sources it involves identification of both internal and external sources of finance the decision will be taken after considering the influencing factors like cost risk flotation cost fixed operating cost etc factors affecting financing decisions financing decisions are affected by various factors which have an impact upon the important among them are discussed below cost the cost of raising funds through different sources are different financial manager would normally opt for a source which is the cheapest risk The risk associated with each of the sources is different. Financial manager would prefer sources with less risk and maximum returns. Flotation costs. Flotation cost is the cost associated with raising finance. Higher flotation cost will increase the cost of finance. Cash flow position of the company. Cash flow position determines which type of funds to be raised. 
a stronger cash flow position may make debt financing more viable than funding through equity. Fixed Operating Costs If a business has high fixed operating costs, it must reduce fixed financing costs. Hence, lower debt financing is better. Similarly, if the fixed operating cost is less, more of debt financing may be preferred. Control Considerations Issues of more equity may lead to reduced control to the management over the business. Debt financing has no such implication. Companies afraid of a takeover bid would prefer debt to equity. Investment Decisions the investment decision relates to how the firm's funds are invested in different assets. A firm's resources are very limit as compared to its uses. Therefore, a firm has to choose where to invest these resources so that they are able to earn the highest possible return for their investors. Factors Affecting Investment Decision there are different factors to be considered before arriving at an investment decision. We can classify these into three major heads and can be discussed below. Cash flows of the project An investment decision of a company depends on its cash flow. These cash flows are in the form of a series of cash receipts and payments over the life of an investment. The amount of these cash flows should be carefully analysed before considering a capital budgeting decision. The rate of return. Rate of return is the amount of return expected from a specific investment. The most important factor to be considered in an investment decision is the rate of return. If the expected return from the investment is not satisfactory, it is not wise to go ahead with such investment plan. These calculations are based on the expected returns from each proposal and the assessment of the risk involved. The investment criteria involved. The decision to invest in a particular project involves a number of calculations regarding the amount of investment, interest rate, cash flows and rate of return. There are different techniques to evaluate investment proposals which are known as capital budgeting techniques. These techniques are applied to each proposal before selecting a particular project. Dividend decisions. Dividend is that portion of profit which is distributed to shareholders. The decision involved here is how much of the profit earned by company is to be distributed to the shareholders and how much of it should be retained in the business. Factors affecting dividend decision. Dividend decision is taken by the financial management after considering the various factors. The important among them are discussed below. Amount of earnings. Dividends are distributed out of the profit of the company. Therefore, earnings is a major determinant of the decision about dividend. Stability earnings. If a company has no stable earning, then it cannot distribute dividend in a proper way. Stable earning will result in higher dividend. Stability of dividends. Dividend stability depends on the company's general policy of dividend. The decision to increase dividend is generally made when there is confidence that their earning potential has gone up and not just the earnings of the current year. Growth Opportunities Dividend has a direct relation with the opportunities to grow. Companies having good growth opportunities retain more money out of their earnings so as to finance the required investment. The dividend in growth companies is, therefore, smaller than that in non-growth companies. Cash flow position. Dividend payment means cash is flowing out from the business. A company may be earning profit but may be short on cash. Availability of enough cash in the company is necessary for declaration of dividend. Shareholders preference. Shareholders' preference and their interest is always considered when declaring the dividend. 
If the shareholders in general desire that at least a certain amount is paid as dividend, the companies are likely to declare the same. Financial Planning A financial plan is a statement estimating the amount of capital and determining its composition. The quantum of funds needed will depend upon the assets requirements of the business. The time at which funds will be needed should be carefully decided so that finances are raised at a time when these are needed. Importance of Financial Planning Sound financial planning is essential for success of any business enterprise. Its need is felt because of the following reasons. It facilitates collection of optimum funds. The financial planning estimates the precise requirement of funds which means to avoid wastage and overcapitalization situation. It helps in fixing the most appropriate capital structure. Funds can be arranged from various sources and are used for long term, mid term and short term. Financial planning is necessary for tapping appropriate sources at appropriate time. Helps in investing finance in right projects. Financial plan suggests how the funds are to be allocated for various purposes by comparing various investment proposals. Helps in operational activities. The success or failure of production and distribution function of business depends upon the financial decisions as right decision ensures smooth flow of finance and smooth operation of production and distribution. Base for financial control Financial planning acts as basis for checking the financial activities by comparing the actual revenue with estimated revenue and actual cost with estimated cost. Helps in proper utilization of finance. Finance is the lifeblood of business. So, financial planning is an integral part of the corporate planning of business. All business plans depend upon the soundness of financial planning. Capital structure Capital structure refers to the mix between owners and borrowed funds. These shall be referred as the combination of equity capital and debt capital of an enterprise. Factors influencing capital structure while deciding the ratio between debt and equity in the capital structure, the management has to consider various factors influencing it. They are discussed below. Cash flow position. Size of projected cash flows must be considered before borrowing. Cash flows must not only cover fixed cash payment obligations, but there must be sufficient buffer also. Stock market conditions. If the stock markets are bullish, equity shares are more easily sold even at a higher price. Use of equity is often preferred by companies in such a situation. Return on investment, ROI. If the ROI of the company is higher, it can choose to use trading on equity to increase its EPS, that is, its ability to use debt is greater. Cost of debt. A firm's ability to borrow at a lower rate increases its capacity to employ higher debt. Thus, more debt can be used if debt can be raised at a lower rate. Flotation costs. Process of raising resources also involves some cost. Where the flotation cost involved is high, debt capital may be desirable. Tax rate. Since interest is a deductible expense, cost of debt is affected by the tax rate. If the tax rate is high, debt will be more attractive. Fixed and working capital. The capital structure of a company is generally divided into two different parts, fixed capital and working capital. Both together forms the financial needs of an organization. Fixed capital. 
Fixed capital refers to investment in long-term assets like plant, machinery, building, etc. The amount so invested is long-term in nature and hence it is otherwise referred to as long-term capital or permanent capital. Working capital Working capital is the amount of capital which is circulated in the daily business. It is the difference between current assets and current liabilities of the organization. Factors affecting the requirement of fixed capital. Fixed capital requirement depends on the number of factors. The important among them are discussed below. Nature of business. The type of business has a direct impact on the fixed capital requirements. For example, a trading concern needs lower investment in fixed assets compared with a manufacturing organization. Scale of operations. Size of the organization determines its fixed assets requirements. A larger organization operating at a higher scale needs bigger plant, more space, etc and therefore requires higher investment in fixed assets when compared with the small organization. Technology upgradation. When the technology upgrades, some assets will become useless and it requires to replace such assets. Higher investment in fixed assets may therefore be required in such cases. Growth prospects. Higher growth of an organization generally requires higher investment in fixed assets. Even when such growth is expected, a company may choose to create higher capacity in order to meet the anticipated higher demand quicker. Financial alternatives. Availability of alternatives has a direct impact on the capital requirements. For instance, when the building and premises are available for lease, then the requirement for a long-term investment in buildings is not required, and this will reduce the fixed capital requirements. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Financial management is referred to as the management of finance. It is the organizational arrangement to procure the fund from different alternatives and its better utilization. Finance is needed to establish a business, to run it, modernize it, to expand it and diversify it. Financial management is mainly connected with the management of three major areas like investment, financing and dividend decisions. The investment decision relates to how the firm's funds are invested in different assets and earn the highest possible return for their investments. Dividend is portion of profit distributed to shareholders. A financial plan is a statement estimating the amount of capital and determining its composition. On the basis of ownership, the sources of business finance can be broadly classified into two categories, viz. owner's funds and borrowed funds. Capital structure refers to the mix between owner's and borrowed funds.